Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Marcus Tanner. My company is Quick Pay Bill Payment Services. What is Quick Pay, you may ask? Quick Pay is a company that provides a simple and easy way to pay bills. Our service includes pickup of your bills, organization and payment of your bills, and delivery of organized statements of your monthly or bi monthly bills. With the opening of Quick Pay Bill Payment Services, we believe that we can provide a great service to the greater Orlando area and to the elderly community of the greater Orlando area by easing the stress of the work of organization of monthly bills. Now, we're basically what we're doing, um, we would organize, we would set up a time to pick up a bill, um, we would file it, pay it, everything, and then deliver a statement back to you with the bill in a file already organized for you. You just have to file it in your cabinet. And we believe that this would just be a lot easier for a lot of people to pay bills. It takes a lot of stress away and you don't have to worry about it. What is the problem? Well, we see that there's a lot of elderly people in the state of Florida. Um, a lot of elderly people are actually unable to pay bills. Um, forgetfulness is a big thing and that's not even in elderly people. I forget to pay my bills all the time. Um, some people are too busy working. Some people, it's just a case of laziness. They just don't really care. Uh, some children actually end up paying their elderly parents' bills later on in life because their elderly parents are unable to due to forgetfulness, due to different illnesses. Um, we believe that our service could actually help out in numerous different ways. Now, the solution to all these problems is quick pay bill payment service. Now, we're not like any other company out here. We pretty much provide a full service bill payment solution to anyone in the greater Orlando area. We will come and pick up your bill and bring you the statement back and we will pay it, send it off to the company and everything. Now, we are currently working to secure this and make this a safe investment with the U.S. Patent Office. Um, we're just making sure that our idea is going to be safe and that no one else will steal it. Um, opportunity and target markets are demographics right now. Would be between the ages of 50 and 100 years of age. Um, obviously anyone else of the age can come in, but that would be who we were preferring to target. Uh, sex, male or female, um, income level, mid to high class, just because of people needing to pay bills, the amount of money and income that they would need. Um, race, any American citizen, this would be a US company. Um, employment, about 40K a year, roughly, be ideal, just because of income amount of bills that you would have. Uh, location, the greater Orlando area and the villages, and we put the villages because of the elderly population and we feel that we may have a greater impact there. Now, uh, home ownership not required, preferred. Um, again, education level, not a big deal. Um, our goal is to achieve 1,500 customers by the end of the first month. Um, now, with our target market, we're hitting about 33% in the target market, but I mean, granted, out of 55 billion, I would say aiming for 1,500 in the greater Orlando area when you have about 3 million people, I think is a, a good goal to set for the first month. Um, I would also like to point out that uh, Florida is actually holding 3 to 10% of the nation's businesses in this sector, so we feel like we have a really good location here. Um, market testing, we actually uh, randomly selected randomly 50 year olds, five of them, and asked them how they would feel about our business. And all of them came back with positive results. Um, they felt like they actually might use it if it was a real company because of if a spouse had died, um, two of the people had actually never paid bills in their life. So, you know, we feel like this could be a real thing. Um, technology, um, right here we have a, it's 
a little blank canvas. Um, the numbers are kind of just put in there, but this would be uh, an example of our monthly statement and budget management system. Um, what we'd like to do is try and show our customers where their money goes. Um, this way is very easy to see where they're spending money, maybe where they can cut back. Um, just another easy way to show the customer how they can simply manage their money. Um, this also makes it very easy to organize and file, your, file the files as a customer since everything's all labeled at the top for you. Um, at this time we have no current competition, um, no media competition. There's just no one in the industry that's like us. Um, no one will come to your door, no one will pay your bills, and no one will bring you an organized file out that you can just put wherever, you can put it right in your filing cabinet. Um, potential competition would be banks maybe because of the automated systems with credit cards and debit cards where you could just automatically pull stuff out. Um, but that, we might, we don't really see that being an issue because that's not necessarily competition. That's an automated thing. And with what we offer, it really eases the stress level with the filing and organization point. Um, marketing and sales, um, we're really trying to hit in our advertisement area, TV, radio, social media such as Facebook and Instagram, um, the newspaper and commercials such as TV and radio. Basically newspaper and commercials are a huge, commercials also being billboards just because it's a huge thing for the elderly community. A lot of um, elderly people do still actually receive the newspaper at home. Um, and just don't read it in Starbucks or the cafe. Uh, another big thing we're hoping to get achieved is word of mouth. Um, we feel that word of mouth is carried much stronger, uh, especially through the elderly community and the older community because it's a sense of trust. So we're really hoping to get more word of mouth, but initially we would have to hit the advertisements. Um, what we're doing is we're doing a $19.99 startup fee. That's a one-time startup fee for any customer. $5 for one to five bills. We do $5 per bill or $4 for six to 15 bills, depending however many bills you guys want to have us do. Uh, 16 to unlimited would be $3.50. And that's monthly all the way up. There's, that's per bill. And once you pay the $19.99 startup fee, it's over. Um, Quick pay also, we field our own workforce, our own work sales force. Um, our management team, uh, myself, I'm the founder. Uh, I own about 90% of the company. Um, I share another 5% with Wesley Capper and Trey Dahlberg, but I'll get to them in one second. Um, Nicholas Arico, our CFO, is age 31. He graduated George Mason University with a master's in finance. Um, he has eight years experience with L3 Communications. Uh, Wesley Capper graduated ECU. He has four years job experience working with working and managing a semiconductor production line in North Carolina. Um, Trey Dahlberg graduated Nova. Um, he has four years job experience working as a manager for a daycare in Kissimmee. Jack Mayfield is an ODU alumni. Um, he, had, he has started his own startup business and has managed it for four years currently. Um, our board of directors, Joshua Roberts, is a Quinnipiac alumni from Connecticut. He is an attorney specializing in small business, so we feel like that's something that we may really need. Um, Nathan Holyfield is a CPA, a UF alumni, and he's been with a firm outside of Sanford for about four years now. Now, our financial projections, um, a lot of these numbers are really thrown in here, but for the first year we are projecting a uh, loss of 5761 5, but uh, gross sales of $24,052. Um, the reason why the second, third, and fourth month, um, I did, we did project a positive net income but that's because with a lot of our expenses, um, it's not as much of an inventory, it's more of a one-time charge, and then once we're set up, it's a service, we just have to pump out um, papers, essentially. 
This is our second year business. Um, we totaled uh, gross sales at nine, no, 991,000. Um, again, a lot of numbers thrown together the first year. We are, uh, we do have a loss in net income, but that being said, we do pull it up. Um, if there is any numbers that you would like me to sp explain, just let me know. Uh, third year of business, our gross sales are 1,100,022 and 562 dollars. Um, we feel like at the third year, our business is going to be really expanding, and that's one of the big things in the first two years with advertisement, is we really want to focus on our advertisement marketing. Fourth year uh, gross sales, we have $1,325,623. Um, total expenses, we have $712,225. Again, I think by the fourth year, we're really just going to be pumping out. Um, we're really hoping that by the third year, our marketing will be kind of coasting at that point. We'll be in a cruise, and it's just going to be constant from that point. Now, here's our cash flow statements for the first year. Um, cash flow at the beginning is 1800 That's what we have um, already accounted for. Um... Again, if there's any numbers that you'd like me to run by, just let me know. Cash flow for the second year. Um, January, we started at $216,925. Um, totaled cash balance at the end of the year, uh, $2,345,000. $2, total for the summary. Um, third and fourth year, uh, cash balance ending 712747 dollars. Our current status, um, our company is still in de development stages. Our goal is to get adequate funds so that we may inform the market of our service coming in. And uh, here's a chart. We have our uses of funds. Um, pretty much just a broken down list of all of our expenses coming into the into the field. Everything that we would need probably to start up. And the financing that we're seeking is a amount of one hundred and forty five thousand dollars. Now, um, with that, if we achieve this $145,000 uh, for various expenses, our milestone to, be, milestone to be completed would be September to November, um, committing to an investor, we're hoping around that time, uh, January 2018, sign a lease for the building in Orlando, um, decide on all office equipment and software that we're going to need. Uh, March 2018, organize equipment and prepare for the grand opening. And uh, April 20th, 2018, we hope to have a grand opening and begin operations for Quick Pay in Orlando. Um, again, I put a chart over here. Uh, we have sources of funds. Um, we already have one angle investor, Kevin Hesketh. Uh, he said he would invest $100,000 into us. Um, uh, the management team has forty thousand dollars invested, and we have a line of credit with PNC for uh, eighty thousand dollars, forty thousand distributed when business opens. Um, we're just looking for the hundred and forty-five thousand just to get the ball rolling. That would help with a lot of marketing, uh, a lot of software, getting the business, getting the building. Um, and the summary. Um, what is quick pay? As you know, quick pay is a very unique uh, company. <laughs> it's a very unique service and uh, it'll take a lot of responsibility away from the consumer. Um, our team has various expertise in all of their fields. Um, like I said, uh, everyone on our management team has 
many years experience. Um, myself, I have owned and worked my own ceramic business. Um, I've done odd things on the sides and you know, a lot of little entrepreneurship as a kid, but coming on, I feel like it's definitely something that we can take on now. And I feel like we all have a lot of expertise in this. Um, join the next big service. I think this would be the next big thing in Orlando. Thank you, everyone.